and the manager and women are strengthening their call for more women participation in leadership roles and decision making in the country. This call was made in Abuja on Wednesday as women all over the world prepare for the International Women's Day celebration. 8th of March every year has been set aside as the International Women's Day and this has been celebrated across the world since the early 1900s, a period of great expansion and turbulence in the industrial world and this period also gave rise to the radical ideologies. The country director, who was represented by the director of finance, Marie Macedo, says it's time that Nigerian women who account for 60% of the population are given equal opportunities as the three male counterparts. 50% of Nigerian population is women. And for the last legislature, we only have four women position in the governance. And also, we have only less than 10% of our representatives are in Nigerian Assembly for Women. We have only three women over 109 elected uh, House of Representatives members. I think this is something we can look at it and see how we can improve. This year, the campaign's theme is Inspi Inspire Inclusion. This year, campaign calls for all women to inspire others to understand and value women's inclusion we forge a better world. If we all come together, we'll definitely do better than we working in silos. More women who spoke applauded the role of CARE Nigeria in inspiring women and giving them voice and support, particularly in the Northeast. We also have increased number of women supervisory councillors in the state. Also, we have uh, older women in elected positions. Um, although uh, it has not been, this is something that is happening uh, very new. We see it in Nobe, especially having women in an elected position, particularly uh, being a chairperson of a local government. This is something that is very strange for us in Nobe. And that did not happen over the, um, just like that, but it is due to different level of advocacy engagement that we had with the government through different levels of empowerment that we had from organizations like here International. I believe in some few years to come, we as a women, especially in the North, will see a great change. Because uh, in most of our activities that we have gone out, we have seen a great acceptance from our EMEAs, our community leaders, have welcomed us and have also welcomed our ideas of we women coming out to participate in leadership and decision-making roles in our community. Also, um, there's an eagerness and awareness of the women coming out to give us uh, their support and showing that they want to work together with the women. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Honorable Sam Springs, and I'm the speaker of the Helpline's Voice of the Girls Parliament. As rightly said by my clerk here, it is very, very weird and absurd to have 50% of the nation as women and only about 6 to 7% of them are properly represented in leadership. It is absurd and it is a kind of, it is a form of like stereotyping to say that women can't lead or women don't have what it takes to lead. So today we are very happy that CARE has allowed us to be a part of this deliberation so that we can make sure that the future is bright for women because the girl of today is the woman of tomorrow. A panel of discussion on the future of women was exhaustively deliberately on by a panel of discussions with the theme, the prospect of women participation in leadership roles and in decision making.